Hey gang, we're in Jackson, Michigan right now, and we are in the woods, and we're basically looking for a cemetery here in the woods that I think I found just up ahead here. It's called McNaughton Cemetery, and it is the location of where a little girl was buried a long time ago, possibly well, it said that she was buried alive. There's a big monument back there that I see that marks the location of the cemetery. Pretty eerie back here. But we're going to go check it out. I want to thank my charmed unicorn on Instagram gave us this suggestion. And it is said that the the little girl, a little Mary, she was seven years old. She died and was buried alive here. And as the story goes, well, the family was a very notable family here. Now, this goes way, way, way back to the uh, 1800s, of course, late 1800s. She was, Mary was born September 5th, 1884. And she was the granddaughter of a man named Moses Archibald McNaughton. And he was a doctor, mayor, real estate developer. Quite a wealthy guy here, railroad entrepreneur. Scottish descent, they moved here from New York way back in 1841, the spring. So Moses was a leader and pioneer here, pretty much a founder you could say, of Jackson. And, like I said, very wealthy family. He married in 1848. He had four children, Mary among them. The mother's name was Elizabeth. Sisters Edith, Ruth, Helen. And they had fled this, this area in 1892 there was a typhoid fever outbreak and there was also diphtheria. We all know about those diseases. By the way, I'm just trying to find a, a way in here. You can see uh, we're, heading, we're heading, there's a monument all by itself up there. I'll see if I can zoom in on it, but it's it's really unapproachable from where I'm standing. But we're going to find a way around it, around all this brush. I think, let's try over here. So yeah, they fled this area during the epidemic. And I guess it was a good move. Well, yeah, it looks like the trail... There's a trail right here. Okay. I had a, I, there's different trails that come in here. I came through an apartment complex and kind of weaved my way to this point. Now we are, we are on a trail, not being familiar with the area. Well, the women, they came back here because Mary had suffered a, a, an infection and her appendix from her appendix had rush, uh, ruptured and you know family was devastated. They came back here. A very difficult journey, they say. And the mother, the mother either had a premonition or she had a dream or something that her daughter Mary, after they buried her, I believe that's her, I haven't been up here, but I believe that's her grave right there, judging by all the flowers, that she heard her screams and they came here and they, you know, to pacify the mother, they did dig her up. They looked in the coffin and the coffin had scratch marks and all the signs the bloody fingers, hair pulled out, all the signs. 
that we hear about, and here's her grave, yeah? This is Mary's grave. Right here. Now, of course, when the family was contacted, look at this monument. Even recently, they said, ah, this story's hogwash. Not true. Here's her mother, Elizabeth. Looks like different family members, but I, this is her mom. And it was Elizabeth who insisted that they disinter little Mary. This is the McNaughton Monument. It says Moses here, the whole family. So the family, of course, you know, they, they there's descendants. They're like, oh, this story's hogwash. Well, of course, you're going to say that. I mean, who wants to admit that they're, you know, you buried your loved one alive? And it happened a lot back then. I mean, we don't know if this story's true or not. I'm not here to say this is ex ex absolutely true. Could be something that was a, a yarn. But it happened a lot in those days. That's why people had the window, or that's why people had the bell, saved by the bell. It's fact. This happened a lot because medical science was not advanced. You'd be in a coma and they think you're dead. And the, the, the custom was you bury the people the next day. You don't wait around and... So the story is they, they came here and sure enough she, she was buried alive. Of course she was dead. This is Robert McNaughton. Born September 14th, 1767. Wow. Died January 1845. Isabella Watson McNaughton. February 12th, 1768. She died December 21st, 1856. Let's take a look at... We have Charles Douglas McNaughton. March 27th, 1849, September 10th, 1869, and Sarah, September 12th, 1812, died June 25th, 1836, and of course Moses, he was born in 1836 and he died. Oh, this is uh, not the father. So this had to be a baby. April 6, 1836, died May 20th, it looks like, 1836. And there's an Arthur here. Oh, there's more gravestones down there, guys. So this is Arthur V. Potter. Let's just take a quick look here. Boy, this is beautiful in here. Although very eerie. It's not far from the highway in the thick of the woods here, but just think, this goes back, way, way back, 1800s. So we have a few stones here. We'll take a quick look. This is, looks like George Winnaws, or Winans. Louisa, we've got 1832, 1888. Yeah, this is Winans, 1822, 1888. Both passing the same year. Here's a more modern head, headstone. You have to wonder what's going on here. Walsh, John, Della, and Alma, all passing near the turn of the century or just before. And this is a pile of rubble, basically. I shouldn't say rubble, just pieces. Crouch. Crouch is the name. And there's one more over here. Crouch, so this is the Crouch family. Yeah, it looks like it says Marquise L. Barrett, 
1867-1941, Anne Grace Barrett, 1879-1953. Is that the Scottish thistle? What is that, guys? So let's go back up the hill. I wonder who erected that monument. Obviously the family, probably. Many years later, that looks more modern. Of course, it's granite. They say the lid was removed and to their horror, there were deep, deep scratch marks gouged in the underside lid of the coffin. And they say that Mary's face was twisted in agony. Her small hands were bloodied and worn raw. Her mother's worst fears were real. Parents left here in 1906. They left her behind. Let's take a, a quick look here. Again, we have the mother, Elizabeth, and we've got Robert, and we have Charlie. So I think Find a Grave probably has a lot of these names and who they were. But here is the grave of little Mary, still here. Looks like she has a new monument. This looks more modern. Sad to say, I'm sure the vandals, they say they don't, they don't want people back here because there's been drug users and people doing seances, but it's, I was told it was okay to come back here for paying respects. And I did, I did talk to some people here that are associated with this about coming back here. So, very interesting story. Uh, what do you guys think? You think it's true or you think it's not? Don't know, but I thought I'd bring you here. Rest in peace, Mary, and rest in peace to the McNaughton family.